What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are going to be doing another Amazon favorites video. I did one of these a couple months ago and you guys seem to really love it so I figured that we would do another one. And I don't know about you guys but I have always been an avid Amazon shopper. Like I was always ordering tons of stuff on there. Some stuff I certainly didn't need but then once I got it I was like okay how did I live without this? And then also just for regular you know everyday needs I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. But this quarantine has like amplified it to a whole nother level because none of the stores are open so I can't even go in store to get stuff if I wanted to. So Amazon has been like my go-to for stuff I probably don't need, but also for stuff that I do need to. So today I'm going to be showing you some favorites of things that I've got on Amazon because not everything I've bought on Amazon has been a favorite. I have definitely gotten some fails on Amazon as well. Like not everything is always as it seems, but the products I'm going to be talking to you guys about today have been like staples in my daily routine. I have actually a lot of stuff like for like my house and stuff in today's video too, but then I still have like cute accessories and other things that I use literally on a daily basis as well. So make sure you guys subscribe. It's my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right my first favorite is like my obsession they are these little slippers from amazon so a couple months ago i saw kylie jenner post with these like fuzzy kind of slippers and i've always loved like fuzzy stuff like this like my whole house has like faux fur and stuff everywhere but i saw her post like an ig story with these beautiful fuzzy slippers and i think they were louis vuitton so they're like thousands of dollars and i looked them up and was like mm no, that's not for me. But I went on Amazon and saw these that were $28 and I was like, yes, $28 fuzzy slippers are for me. And these are honestly like, I didn't expect to wear these as much as I do. But when I'm in my house, this is literally like always what is on my feet. I used to kind of be like a barefoot gal in my house. But now that I have these, I just, I love them. They're so comfy because the bottom, which I didn't even realize this when I bought them, but this part is like kind of like, I don't want to say memory foam, but that's like what it feels like. Like it's really nice. Like your foot kind of sinks into it, but it's not too soft. So they're very comfortable beyond just being really cute like with the fuzziness and they come in a variety of different shades too. I just went with the gray shade but I really really like them. They're super soft and cozy and you can kind of get that like designer look without actually being real fur and hurting an animal and without spending thousands of dollars. <laughs> you can just get them on Amazon. I will say that they do run a little bit big. I think I ordered, I'm looking at them now, so they come in like 5 to 6, 7 to 8, 9 to 10, 11 to 12. I think I ordered, does it say on the back here? Yeah, seven to eight and they're a little big on me and I'm normally like an eight. So I would probably err on ordering them a little bit smaller if you're in between sizes, but they're really, really nice and I love them. And I think that you guys will like them and the price is right. And as always, I'll have every single thing I talk about in today's video linked down below. So check down there. I'll have all links to everything on Amazon where you guys can get it and all that jazz. Okay, up next, I told you guys I was gonna have like some things from my home. Actually, when I pulled the stuff for today's video, I was like, wow, I actually have like a lot of like home stuff that I buy on Amazon. Cause they actually have like really cute stuff like home decor and stuff like that that you wouldn't I don't think I at least I wouldn't necessarily think to look on Amazon for that like normally I would just go to home goods and stuff but obviously quarantine home goods is not open bless home goods heart um hopefully they will be soon but I have been getting some stuff on Amazon and these I've actually had for a while so I wanted to share these because I feel like these are so luxe these are hand towels and they have like a silver this is an s so for my last name but these are actually very nice towels I feel like the monogram adds like a luxe like -ness, or like look to the bathroom or wherever you're gonna put them and these actually come in a set of four so this is just one of them but you do get four of them for $28 so I thought that was a pretty good price so I have these in our master bathroom and then I also have them in the guest bathroom downstairs I just think they look nice kind of like hotelish and pretty so I got these on Amazon and I would recommend they have like you know obviously every different monogram but this is what the S looks like okay up next this is a more recent purchase I have like the cord hanging here um, but this is a gel or not gel it's like a UV LED light for your nails so I purchased this because I did a full video on my channel about how I've been doing my nails in quarantine. So I was using poly gel in that tutorial, which you need to cure in a light or the same light that cures like gel nail polish, anything like that. This will do that. So I ordered this off Amazon. It was very affordable. For some reason, I thought these lights were like very pricey. And then when I looked on Amazon, I mean, some of them are very pricey, but this one, let me get up the exact price that I paid for it. Cause it wasn't that much, but the wattage is still pretty high. It gets the job done. I haven't had any issues with it not fully curing a nail polish, poly gel or anything that I've put in it. Okay, yeah, so this is 48 watts and I paid $44.95 for it. So just about $45. And it has a bunch of different settings up here. So there's a 10 second setting, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 99 seconds. And it has a low heat mode, which is really nice. I'm sure you guys know, like if you've gotten your nails done in a nail salon or something, sometimes when you put your hands in these machines, 
sheens, the polish. It can get hot and kind of like sting, but I haven't had that with this at all. It's honestly really nice. It works really well. And I thought for the price, it was a really, really good buy, especially now during quarantine, since I'm sure everybody has been doing their nails at home. So even if you don't have like long fake nails like I do, if you're just doing like a gel manicure or gel polish, this is great to have. I also think I'm gonna use it because I've never done gel polish on my toes. But like now that I have like my own little personal thing, like I could like put my foot in there, I guess, and like do it. I don't know, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Only on my hands, but it sounds good for summer, like longer lasting polish on the toes. So yeah, I've been really liking this guy and it's saved me during quarantine so that my nails don't look crazy. And I can link my nail video on the screen here um, because every single thing that I use in that video I got from Amazon. So they have a bunch of stuff on there for your nails. All right, you guys, my next favorite is like the favorite of all the favorites. This has been my holy grail, like my savior recently. This is the Robo Rock. So uh, there's a bunch of different ones of these. This specifically is the S6 Pure. And this is the best thing that I have ever gotten for my house. Like, I'm not even kidding. Y'all need one of these literally yesterday. Like, I don't know what I did without this before I had it. I do want to thank Robo Rock for sending this out to me and partnering with me on this little portion of today's video, but I'm not even kidding. This is so good and will be so helpful to you. It's not even funny. So I've actually tried a couple different robot vacuums in the past and had varying amounts of luck with them. I hate to vacuum. There are certain things that I don't mind when it comes to cleaning my house. Like, I like to like wipe down the countertops and stuff, but when it comes to vacuuming or doing anything with the floors or mopping, I don't like doing that. It's a pain in the butt and it takes so much time. So I've tried a lot of different robot vacuums, but some of them are not any good at all, to be completely honest with you. Like they crash into things, I've had them damage things. And also a lot of them don't pick up fine little crumbs or like my dog's hair, which is very fine, but it's all over the place. So like it's defeating the purpose. Where the Roborock S6 has by far been the best one that I have tried. It literally gets up like every speck of dust, every little crumb, every dog hair. Like it's very, very thorough and really cleans my floors. And not only is it a vacuum but it's a mop which is like a game changer like any other vacuum that I had tried before like robot vacuum was just a vacuum there was no mop feature where this literally does both and can do both at the same time which is like insane so it cleans completely on its own it uses auto navigation by using a little laser sensor to draw a full map of your house and its cleaning route so you don't have to do literally anything and there's an app so you can control it completely from the app like right from your phone and what's nice with that is you can actually do a lot of customization so you can be selective on which rooms you want it to go in so for like example the room that I'm in right now my filming room is normally an absolute disaster and there's boxes and products and big lights and everything all over the place so I normally don't use it in here but I want it to go in all the rest of the rooms upstairs so I can just tell it to go in all the other rooms and not go in this room or like to avoid a certain area of a room there's a lot of customization that you can do with it where I have never had another robot vacuum where you could really do that you basically just had to like run after it if it was like in the wrong area like I said I've had a lot of stuff ruined by other brand robot vacuums just because I wasn't on top of where it was going and there was no option for me to like select where it was going and stop it from going in areas I didn't want it to go. So you can basically create these like no-go zones with virtual walls so that it's not like going into anywhere you don't want it to go. You can also schedule cleaning, which is really, really nice. So you can set it like every single Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. go and it'll go and do it all on its own. So that can all be done on the app. You don't even have to be home to do it and it's good to go and there isn't any issues. So I do really like that feature of it as well. And if you've been wanting to try a robot vacuum, this is by far the best bet because I have actually tried quite a few of them. And actually with Mother's Day coming up, too this would be a really really good gift for like your mom I know a lot of moms would really really appreciate this take some of that cleaning time off of their hands so it just gives you so much other time to do everything else and I have been loving it and my floors have never been cleaner so it's a win-win so I have a link to it down below I highly 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 recommend it really is the best like for real okay up next I have this Mizzou little water canteen I don't have the top on it because there's actually water in it I'm drinking it this little baby comes everywhere with me like all over the house Stephen always says like he knows where I am based on where he sees this bottle or where I was because I always bring it with me because I'm always drinking water throughout the day. And I love to fill it up in this canteen, A, because it's bigger than a regular glass, but also this keeps your water so cold, but you can also put like hot stuff in it too and it'll keep it hot. It's basically very similar to a hydro flask, but it's so much cheaper. Let me get up like the price difference for you guys. Okay, so yeah, I'm reading on the website too here. So it keeps hot beverages hot for up to 12 hours and cold beverages cold for up to 24 hours hours so that's like a long time and it has a double wall food grade stainless steel I didn't even know there's such a thing as food grade stainless steel but a 26 ounce of these which I'm pretty sure that's the one that I have is the 26 ounce is $35 on Amazon with free shipping yeah I love this and it goes around the house with me literally all day long so I just keep drinking water out of it and keep filling it up and I'm also not reusing 
thing. I used to be, it's embarrassing to even say it, but I used to be that girl that would buy like those 32 packs of like water bottles and stuff. And like, there's no need for that. It just creates like so much unnecessary plastic and waste. So I literally just fill this up with my fridge water and drink it all day long. And it's the same thing, but you still kind of get that water bottle feel instead of like drinking out of a cup. I don't know, it jazzes it up a little bit. Um, so I love, 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 love this. It is well worth the $35 in my opinion. And they have a bunch of different colors too. I just have this kind of like tealish color. Okay, this next Amazon favorite, I get so many questions about this little thing. You guys are probably like, what? I feel like it looks weird in the video. Um, but this is basically a wall sconce. So there's a little thing here and it hangs on the wall. It looks like awkward when there's not a wall behind it because the wood kind of goes up, but I'll insert a picture of what this looks like. I have one of these on either side of my TV in my family room, and a lot of times people see that in the background of like my Instagram stories and stuff. They always ask me where I got them from. What's really nice about these is they're battery operated, so there's like this little battery thing in the back so you can turn it on, and it lights up in the bottom here like the lights in the little mason jar light up. So you can add nice wall sconces to your wall to kind of jazz it up. I feel like it gives such a pretty look, but you don't actually have to have like an electrician come and like drill into your wall to run like electric lines and they're like the cutest things honestly I like them better than like regular wall sconces so they just hang like this on either side of my tv they go really nicely with the rest of my decor I want to say they came in a two-pack but let me double check because they were very affordable like it cost me nowhere near as close as how much I would have had to pay to like a buy a normal wall sconces plus have an electrician come in and like install them when I could just get them up there on my own. So let me see the price on these. Yes, okay, so they did come in a two pack and they were $25.49. Dang, I actually thought they were more than that. So it was literally 25 bucks for the two of them. Like that is crazy. And I see now they have medium and large. So they are two different options. Mine are the medium ones, but they have a bigger option too. So that's nice, but they're great. I love them and like a great option instead of like traditional kind of wall sconces or if you live in an apartment or something, you don't wanna drill holes, then they're a great option. I just love like the little mason jar with the lights and then the flowers and like the distressed wood. It's super, super cute, kind of farmhouse-y, but still like glam, and I love them. My next favorite is such a weird little gadget. Steven actually ordered this, and at first I was like, oh my gosh, like is that thing even gonna work? That's so dumb. Ooh, I'm seeing now, I think it's on sale now. It's $89, so it's a little bit cheaper now, but we have used this so much. So this is called a NYX. I'm gonna take it out of the little package thing. So basically what this is, is this little like contraption. It looks so weird. It's on this little like keychain. You basically hold this up to the wall and there's like a corresponding app and it will tell you what color any paint color is on the app or it'll match it to the closest possible paint color that there is, which might sound stupid like at first, but you would be shocked how much we've used this for because like when we first bought this house you know obviously the people that lived here prior to us like had a bunch of stuff on the wall so then when they take it off there's holes in the wall and stuff and so it needs to be spackled and it needs to be repainted but if you don't know what the paint color is on the walls it's like impossible to find out like how are you gonna figure it out you know what it is and there's some things online that we've tried but then we've never gotten like actually the right color and it looks crazy and there's all these like splotches on our walls of random paint that is not the right color where this has been spot on like anytime we have used this it works so well so whether you're a homeowner and you're looking to match paint maybe you don't remember the color that you painted something and you want to use it somewhere else or you were in a similar situation to us where you need to fix stuff up from somebody else where they couldn't tell you the paint color or if you're a renter a lot of times when you rent like they give you the ability to paint but then you have to put it back to like the original paint color before you leave this is such a handy tool to have so if you like home renovation painting literally anything I would highly recommend this I know at first I was kind of like oh my gosh like what are we paying 90 or 100 bucks for that for, but it has been a lifesaver. My walls look so much better because we don't have like random splotches of random paint that we're trying to like color match. And it has been spot on. And it'll give you a ton of different options. Like you'll take a little picture of the paint and it'll give you like literally like 10 different things like to like the absolute closest matches to like pretty good and varying down. Like if the, wherever you're going doesn't have the exact first match, it does give a lot of different options and has saved us a lot of time and headaches. So we purchased it on Amazon and I would highly, highly recommend um, if you're into home renovation or stuff like that. Last but certainly not least, this was one of those things where like you're on Amazon and you're like buying stuff and then you see it and like you're recommended and you're like, that's probably the last thing that I've ever thought that I've needed. But now that I see it, 
I need it. Um, and that is this marble paper towel holder. So again, seems kind of dumb, I guess, because like who really cares? But like, I do like to have my paper towels out on the countertop in my kitchen um, because we just, we use paper towels for a lot. And a lot of times paper towel holders like aren't really that cute. But when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Like it'll give me the ability to like put my paper towels on my countertop, but they're still gonna look like super stylish and, and cute. Um, you'll see this top part is just kind of like white. There's not much like veining on it, but that's because you don't really see this obviously because the paper towel you know goes on here so you really only see this top part and then you see mostly the bottom which has like really nice pretty marble veining on it and it looks very nice like sitting on my countertop like yeah there's paper towels there but look at that cute paper towel holder <laughs> at least in my mind that's how I see it I'm like okay this actually looks really cute and I do have marble countertops so it goes with like the whole aesthetic there's actually a um, napkin holder too that's marble that I have so they all kind of go together except the napkin holder did kind of break at the base so I wouldn't recommend that that's why it's not in this video but this one is very sturdy and it's heavy like this is a nice I don't know that it's real marble I feel like it's not but it's sturdy like this is not flimsy like it's heavy um let me see how much I paid for this it wasn't too pricey okay yeah so when I ordered it was $17 now it's up to $22.99 so I guess the price varies a little bit but honestly I love it I wouldn't have it any other way it adds a little touch of elegance like to your countertops but also practicality that you can have your paper towels right there for when you need them so I do really love this all right you guys so those are all of my Amazon must-haves and favorites this one was kind of like home edition. I feel like most of the stuff I talked about was home stuff. So I can definitely do another one of these again too because I have a lot of Amazon favorites in different categories. So if you guys like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.